Good morning. I'm doing some plein air painting today. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's winter here in Australia, so nice days are few and far between, especially here in Melbourne in the Yarra Valley as well. Um, that we're very, very much south bottom of Australia, so can be very cold in winter. Um, and so today it's actually a really nice day. It's not particularly warm. It's only about maybe I think it's about 13 or 14 degrees Celsius. Um, but the sky is blue and the sun is out and I'm making the most of it. So I've come to um, a local reservoir and this is the Upper Yarra Reservoir. It's about oh, 15 minutes down the road from where I live. Um, it's been closed for a very long time. They were renovating it and doing um, some upgrades to it for quite some time. Um, so it was closed for well over 18 months, I think. Maybe even longer than that, I can't remember now. Um, but it recently opened back up again. So that's why I'm here. And it's uh, yeah, a really nice place. So I'm gonna do some painting in my sketchbook with some acrylics. Yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along and do a bit of a vlog to yeah, show you what I'm up to. So yeah, <laughs> uh, this is the somewhat uncomfortable rock pile that I am going to be using as a table and sitting on. Hi. Um, it's a lovely day. It's totally empty here. There is nobody else here, which is wonderful because um, when I stop talking, the birds start and the frogs start and it's, you know, it's very peaceful. So, so yeah, I'm going to get started. I've redone my sketch. This is just a loose little starting point and we'll go for it. Uh, this is just a combination of acrylic paints I've got. I've got some uh, Liquitex. Uh, this is acrylic gouache that I bought ages ago and hardly ever use. Um, and I've also, I've mixed, I've got a few of the colors straight out of the bottles here, but I've also mixed up some different variations and put them into these little jars. Um, this is just a creamy white color. And so I'm just gonna yeah, dip straight into the jars and paint. Um, I've also got one, um, so flat matte acrylic in ultramarine blue i don't use ultramarine blue a lot but um the only other blues i have are uh, cool blues so i've got this primary blue and uh, prussian blue and so i decided to pack ultramarine because it's a bit more of a warmer blue just in case i need it i've got my water and my little container selection of small brushes and i'm just going to use this old of paper for a palette. I've also got a sketchbook here that I'm going to paint in as well. And uh, yeah, should be a lovely afternoon. Okay, I've moved already. <laughs> I only did one quick little painting where I was a minute ago. I ah, just wasn't feeling it. It was too complicated. That's something I have a problem with all the time whenever I'm painting on location. It's just so overwhelming. There is so much stuff and there is so much to look at and I don't know what to focus on. And I do have, I have a little um, viewfinder that you use when it's, um, sorry, let's put the camera on the other hand that you use when it's when you're doing like landscape stuff like those little viewfinder things i have one of those and i didn't bring with me and i'm spewing because i think that would come in really handy i could probably make one out of cardboard actually that i have here we'll see but i have moved um i also found that location very not comfortable at all um i have a bad hip which i had surgery on at the start of the year no the end of last year um and so sitting on like rocks and stones yeah that doesn't work for me so I found this little picnic table and I'm standing for a minute and I'm gonna see if I can paint one of the scenes around here instead. So I just ripped a little hole in this, um, just the cover of the watercolor, um, the old pan I'm using as, or it is, as a palette. This is what I meant by like a view finder. It's a, oh, hey little magpie. So you can see by using this little square, I can zoom out or I can zoom in and crop, and you can use it to search around for a cropped landscape. 
Like, um, this guy. Hey, little magpie. See? I can zoom in super close or I can include him in a wider landscape. Same here. So I have got like a little plastic one of these that comes in really handy. But I forgot to bring it with me. So I've just made a little temporary one. So um, I think I'm going to do... The sun was out a second ago and I'm hoping it's going to come back. See that light patch there? I'm hoping that when the sun comes back... Yeah, there we go. That is what I'm going to paint. That scene there. So... So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's on my phone. Hey buddy.
it's almost school pick up time and of course the sun has been coming and going and coming and going um, and so now this beautiful light is happening and I have to pack up. These are just some of the, the ducks, the native Australian ducks that are wandering around. They're um, a little bit hard to capture while they're moving but there's just some little studies. This is still a bit wet so I might have to pop this in between so it doesn't stick. So this was a half an hour sketch that I did uh, of this scene here. Um, uh, trying to capture when it's like this, when the sun is shining, um, because you can see um, all this like backlit uh, grassy area behind here. Um, so that's what I was trying to capture. Not that easy, but I've kind of got it there. I feel like the, the colours that I've used are a little bit too literal. Um, I mean, I know like I've exaggerated the colours, but I've kind of stuck to the same palette um, for every single one of these sketches, actually, this purpley um, blue colour with the green. Um, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to move on from this particular colour scheme a little bit, but uh, yeah, I haven't. <laughs> Pages are sticking together. Some of them are still a bit, a bit wet. Uh, this is another study of some trees that I did in the first location that I was in. Some gum trees and this is again the one that I was doing earlier in the other location. I've kind of moved down next to the river now so I'm actually quite happy with this one. Again same colours like these purples and um, greens. Um, this one I kind of pushed the colours a little bit further into some pinks and greys which I like. Um, yeah this one sort of wanting to sort of push it a bit further but I think that's it for now. And then yeah some quick little duck studies to finish up with. And yeah I'm sort of quite happy. I, it took me a while to sort of get into the groove I suppose of it all. Um, there was another painting that I did on just a piece of paper to begin with that I totally abandoned. I left that in the car. Um, I'll do something with that later. I might, um, I don't know, play around with it once I get back to the studio maybe. But for now, it's time for me to pack up and, uh, yeah, get ready to pick my son up from his school bus. And, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Hang on, let me just flip the camera around. There you are. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me in this little painting trip. Uh, I'd like to do some more of these when the weather permits. Like I said, we are in winter at the moment, so days like this are few and far between, but it was, it was lovely. It was nice to get out of the studio and actually do some stuff um, in nature. And yeah, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.